Hi there everyone, this is Hitesh and welcome back to the video series Hello World. In this series, we are answering all of your most common questions that you might be having before getting started in the code. Today, we are going to answer what is code and what programming language you should choose. So let's get started out here. So in case you have no idea what's going on here, I have just launched a series out there named Hello World, which is going to answer most common programming questions out there. If you haven't watched the entire playlist out yet, do subscribe to the channel and watch out the entire playlist. There is one more video out there back. Coming on to the question of the day, which is what is code and what programming language you should choose out there. We will take one by one each of them. First of all, let's take down what is code. So just open up any book out there, Wikipedia page, any great programmer out there, or just ask him, what is programming? What is coding? He's going to say, computer programming is a set of instruction given to a computer to perform a specific task. I know that's boring. And that doesn't really make sense to a new person out there who is just getting started in the code out there. I completely agree with that. And when you especially open up the softwares like your app out there or a, or a YouTube video channel out there, or some quick player out there, or even your games, the Call of Duty games or some high or some high-end games, it doesn't really make sense. That cannot be just a computer instruction out there. That that might be something else. That might be a little bit more. But sadly or fortunately or unfortunately, that's actually true. That is computer instruction. But again, there are a lot of platforms and a lot of things that I want to cover here. So one by one, let's get out there. Now if you're getting started with the app development, it's really easy for you to understand that yes, everything is a code out there because whatever you just write out there is actually being performed or the output actually comes up in your real device. So it's really easy. But if you are just a normal person who is using day to day desktop uh, and you write a program out there on Python or C or any such language, the terminal output doesn't really make sense with a quick time movie. But yes, that's computer and that's code. So what does the code actually does? Now code actually gives some great instructions to the computer, which computer actually follows. Consider the computer as a dumb guy who just follows your instruction, just like that. And let's just say I instruct a dumb guy, go in the south direction, that's it. He's gonna go into the south direction, regardless there might be a pit, there might be a highway road, there might be accident, there might be crashes, he's gonna just go out there. So you have to be very precise in giving instruction to the computer. Computers are dumb. We are the person who makes it intelligent out there. So always be precise in your code and code can be anything. It might be just a plain text English out there written in a bad grammar out there. And that is why most of the people are learning code. There is no grammar rules or anything out there. But yes, computer has computer does have its un, its syntax, its own rule out there. And we're going to for sure focus on that as well. So that's the part number one, what is code? Just a plain set of instruction performed on a step-by-step -step manner or triggered by a special event out there. That's, that's not tough. Yes, that's not tough. That's easy. So when anybody now asks you, what is a computer code? What is programming? You can just say, hey, that's our just instruction done by some programmer out there and computer is just following it. Pretty easy. Yes, now we have a knowledge of that. Now, another interesting question, which we are going to answer in this movie is, which programming language you should choose. Now, I'm gonna come on to an off topic a little bit. Now, if you are studying in computer university out there or any, any university which is doing a specific curriculum out there in the computers, then obviously you don't have much option out there. If they are getting started with a C or Python, you have to get started with that, that's mandatory. But I would say, if you're, if you're saving some money and are just trying to learn computer by your own, I would say do some research before you get started in the computer programming. It's not about you always should get started with C. You sh it's not about you should always get started with Python, PHP. It's not like that. It's about what you want to achieve out there. And yes, most of the people out there get started with the C. Uh, that's a great point. That's a great learning step out there, but it's a little bit boring. It's not that exciting because C is a very immersive and very deep language with, which does a lot of job with the hardwares out there. And to me, that's not exciting for you. It might be, but for me, it's a little bit boring. So go and do a great amount of research. 
Now, you will also find a lot of people talking about, hey, language doesn't matter. You can go ahead and choose any language and get started out there. And I would disagree on that point. Why? Because let's just say you want to design an Android app and you are learning Swift language for that or maybe Python language on that. That's a time waste. So decide a goal for yourself first of all. What you want to do? You want to design a website? You want to design a web application completely full-fledged? Or maybe you want to go with the mobile apps, maybe Android, maybe iOS, maybe Windows, or you might want to design some hacking scripts out there, or maybe something else. Then after, you can narrow down the things. Let's just say for the web, yes, of course, there are again plethora of options out there, PHP, Node.js, Emmet, tons of things are out there. But again, at least you will get specific on that domain. You will not look for, uh, let's just say Swift out there, or maybe uh, uh, the Java for the Android or something like that. So you won't be going out on that direction. So always be focused on what you want to do. Of course, you can comment down below and I will surely help you that uh, what you want to do and what would be the suitable language for you, okay? So for example, if you want to go with the iOS development, you should be going into the Swift. If you want to go into the Android development, you surely might want to learn Java for that. And that's a great point. Now, I would again say that learning any programming language is all about learning syntax and getting familiar with the concept of programming. By the way, if you want to get started with the C programming language, I have a very special coupon out there for you. So check out the description for the coupon code out there and that's a great concept course which will get you familiarized with a lot of concept in the C programming language. And that's a great point to get started. Okay, so summarizing the movie, First of all, we took about what is code, set of computer instruction given by some smart programmer to a dumb computer to perform a specific task. Which language you should choose? That requires a lot of research, maybe web development, maybe iOS, Android, Java, Python scripts, and a tons of things like that. So always take your time, watch a lot of YouTube videos, take uh, advice from a lot of experienced developer that I want to do this specific thing, which language I should get started with. That's gonna be a great point. And that's all for this movie. Make sure that you do hit the subscribe button out there, like the video if you like it, and share the video if you think it can be useful for someone else out there. With this, I'll be coming back on to this series, uh, maybe tomorrow, and we'll discuss more important concepts about the programming at that point of time.